Hey, hello there. So I've been asked to put together a little, little story, a little video for you folks. Um, I commend you on working, on uh, preparing for your swimming, even though you can't get in the water right now. Uh, persistence, stay with it, commend you, that's awesome. This is an old story. It goes back to when I was in high school. Yes, a long time ago. Anyway, um, I was a swimmer in high school and there was this, uh, a meet. My, my parents attended all my, all my competitions and I was very grateful for that. Or almost all, my mom was at all of them, my dad almost all of them, as long as work would allow. Well, he was at this one race and um, it was the 500 freestyle. And I guess actually back then it was a four, it was actually a 400 freestyle. Back then in high school, we swam a 400 freestyle. So um, I'm in this race and uh, dad is sitting up in the bleachers and he's like a little bit more than halfway down the length of the pool from the starting end and up in the top row or the next to the top row of bleachers. And so here I am in this, this race and I dive in and going along and I'm behind this guy the whole way up and back and up and back and up and back and, and doing the whole race. So I'm in second place and going along. And as we start getting, I guess, into the last hundred, I start picking things up and I start gaining on him and gaining on him and gaining on him. And um, of course, my dad is up there and he's cheering for me. And I'm unaware of any of this going on, I tell you. This is all, my knowledge of this is all from what, what stories that I've heard myself. So I'm going up and down the pool and dad is cheering for me and he's right there next to his, his wife, right there next to my mother. And they're both cheering for me. And I got closer and closer and closer and closer. And ultimately at the end, I ended up touching out and beating this guy at the end of the race. And here's my dad and he's all smiles and he turns to look at his wife. He turns to look at my mother and she's not there. Where did she go? Well, she didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Mom was still sitting in her seat. Dad had worked his way all the way from more than halfway down the pool on the top of the bleachers, all the way down the bleachers, all the way down to right at the railing at the finish line of the race. <laughs> and he, he didn't even know he had done it. Oh, it, you know, just showed that he cared to me. It just showed how much he cared. Um, and it's just a funny little story, but what is the message behind it all is that, you know, your swimming is for you and that's who it should be for. You shouldn't swim for your parents or, or for anyone else. It, 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 it's, it's a very deep personal thing in my opinion. But know that you can affect other people through your efforts and your performance. And it can strengthen a bond and connection with you and your family members. So just an old funny story um, I wanted to share. Take care. God bless y'all. Um, I hope y'all get to get in the water real soon. Take care. Bye.